Hey team, Dano here from Mandolin Studios. You know, I was going through the old New Mexico digital archives to kind of clean things out, do some housekeeping kind of stuff. And I came across an old episode of Elevation that we recorded way back around 2008. And this was with uh, Crispy and Jamar and myself. We were up in northern New Mexico and we made a push to get to Truchas Peak. So we went up uh, the Rio Santa Barbara, got to No Fish Lake and made a push to get up to one of the highest peaks in New Mexico. It's actually a pretty good episode. It was one of the first ones we ever did, and it was really us still learning how to make these elevation episodes. So we've already done about 18 of them now. So I thought it would be kind of nice to dig into the archives and post this one for you guys to see some of our roots, and also to take a look at northern New Mexico. Uh, we do southern New Mexico quite a bit, but I'm a, a New Mexican from up north, Nuevo Mexicano del Norte, so you guys might like this one. Take a look. Check it out. Bueno. The Pecos Wilderness in northern New Mexico is one of the most beautiful parts of our state. Within this wilderness is the Sangre de Cristo mountain range, named by the early Spanish conquistadors because of the blood red color the mountains take on during sunsets and sunrises. Meaning blood of Christ in Spanish, the Sangre de Cristo mountains are geologically young, steep, and offer some amazing sights. Our objective for this trip is to get a close look at North Truchas Peak. We've assembled a three-man team to make the trek to North Truchas Peak. At 13,024 feet, it's one of the highest peaks in New Mexico. Our 12-mile trek begins near Indian Canyon at 8,800 feet. Our plan is to hike up the Santa Barbara River with the occasional river crossing, and then take the West Fork to set up our base camp. And even though Truchas is Spanish for trout, we plan to camp at No Fish Lake. Just picked up the West Fork from the Rio Santa Barbara. Here it is. I just looked down on the trail and I saw some strawberries. They're not very big, but they're real tasty. So here we are, first night uh, up Santa Barbara Canyon. Got our nice fire going on. We boiled up some water. We have dinner fixings going. Got our camp chairs out and just relaxing a little bit in the evening. So this is what we have to eat um, for our first night out. It's chicken, vegetable, noodle, red chili, camp food. <laughs> That's what it is. Santa Barbara, trail number 25, working our way this morning to uh, No Fish Lake, see if we can catch any. Lovely. The Truchas Peaks lie on the water divide between the Rio Grande and the Pecos River. They are drained on the west by the Rio Medio, the Rio Quimado, and the Rio de las Trampas. On the northeast, they are drained by the Rio Santa Barbara, and on the southeast by the Pecos River. The Massif also connects numerous other high peaks in the region, 
Many via the Santa Barbara Divide, a major east-west high ridge separating the Pecos watershed on the south from the Santa Barbara watershed to the north. So here we are. We've made it to our next camp night, number two. This is going to be, uh, we did about maybe three and a half, four miles uphill today. We probably gained about maybe 16 or 1,700 feet of altitude. Brought a standard sheet of tarp. Justin brought in his pack. We used some of the little bungee strips that I was using to tie down my stuff. Got a stick set up here and just flying down to a homemade stake. And this should keep us a lot drier than we would be otherwise. It's the Rio Santa Barbara. All these beautiful flowers, it smells delicious. So one of the, uh, so one of the things that sort of falls to me sometimes is uh, the fire, because I'm the most enthusiastic about it a lot of times. And uh, I've built a lot of them, and I've come up with a system, and I call it the Jamar One Match Fire. Yeah! So, these are the Coleman's Waterproof Safety Matches, and I'm hoping not to look like an ass. You can do it! Enjoy. Well, uh. So here we are, sitting in front of the fire, camp night number two, up near No Fish Lake. Uh, things are going really well, the trip, just as we expected. We're going to make a big push for the ridge tomorrow. Uh, we're all pretty excited. It's been a successful trip so far. And no rain. <laughs> no rain yet. <laughs> First morning at No Fish Lake, and down there is No Fish Lake. We're going to try to make an ascent to the ridge line. And if you look right in here, you can see the trail. Comes along that way. Just switch back. And the trail moves up the side of the mountain that way. So we made it to the top of the ridge. Down this way is Santa Barbara Canyon. That's the way we came in. You see the far peak to the left. That is Hikarita Peak. As you look east, you see little Hikarita Peak. And over here is Chimayoso's Peak at 12,841 feet. From the top of the divide, the view to the east is of the gentle upper Pecos River Valley and Peñasco Grande Peak in the distance. Designated in 1933, the Pecos wilderness is nearly a quarter million acres and offers at least 15 lakes with rainbow trout, brown trout, and the Rio Grande cutthroat trout, plus more than 150 miles of mountain rivers and streams. Here we get our first look at the east side of the Truchas Peaks. To the north, it drains into the steep bowl-shaped depression or cirque that contains no fish lake and the Rio Santa Barbara headwaters. The entire mountain 
is a north-south trending massif with three main summits, North Truchas Peak, Medio Truchas Peak, and South Truchas Peak, the highest of the summits. We got to about 12,600 feet when we noticed a big old storm brewing in the east. Lightning at high altitudes can be very dangerous. Our general consensus was to get back to base camp, and quickly. So with one last look at Chimayoso's peak, we hit the trail once again. This time downhill, back to No Fish Lake. Here we are, night number three on our big trip. We were expecting some rain, and finally we got some rain. We got a little bit of hail, uh, but mostly a nice gentle rain. We're very fortunate that we set up a, a tarp so we can sit here in dryness. But boy, there's been lightning and thunder, a little bit of hail, and a nice steady rain that's been going on. Earlier today, we were able to get to about 12,600 feet. Not as high as we wanted, but high enough for the day. It was a a good trip and we got some altitude and we saw some beautiful sights as you all saw. So it's always good to relax on one of your last nights. This is our last night of the trip. We're going to be going home tomorrow so tonight is when you try to eat up all the rest of your food and drink up all the rest of your drink and you want to take as light a load down as possible. This is our, the morning of our last day on our four day trip. We've had just a fantastic time. Had a great night camping last night. Got a little bit of rain, but not too much. Um, we're gonna say goodbye to No Fish Lake here. We can confirm that there are no fish in this lake. Uh, here you can see we took down our tarp. We were living high with that tarp there, keeping nice and dry. Packing up all of our things, getting it tied down. When you camp enough, your stuff kind of spreads out, so it's good to get it back under control, put stuff where you know it's supposed to be, and just get ready to hit the trail home. If you look over here, is our campfire. Um, a lot of good laughs and stories in front of the campfire. What we try to do is to leave our space cleaner than we found it. We pick up any little bits of trash that we find, we pack out what we can. Um, we're also leaving the next folks a good amount of wood here. Uh, we try to break our wood into small, smaller than forearm size. There's really no need to have a fire out in the woods with wood that is bigger than your forearm. So we get a lot of small little pieces. We happen to have extra because we got plenty for last night. So the next folks will have a nice treat with extra wood. The camp looks secured, no trash around. Feel proud about leaving this place better than we found it. bottom of the first section of mountain. We uh, were fortunate enough to get some rain. We all have our gear. You can see we're getting a quick dry out on our rain ponchos and rain pants and the sort of things. Um, we did really well on this hike. Got a little bit wet but not too bad at all. You can see over here that's the way we're headed. Those clouds are pretty dark and grisly. We'll see. It looks like we're going to get some more rain. The hike back was fairly easy, with the gentle downhill trail, fresh mountain air, and the occasional drizzle of rain. And finally, a little bit of wildlife. Here we have a little woodpecker home, and uh, what we've been watching is this parent's woodpecker come back with the uh, big old tasty treats for their little babies. You hear them squawking in there. That's what gave us away the uh, where the nest was. and. Uh, Pretty soon they'll be out of the nest catching their own bugs. Well, here we are. This is the end of our trip. We have arrived back to the parking lot. 
We're waiting for our ride to come by and get us, but uh, we're pretty excited. It was a fantastic trip. We ended up hiking about 26 miles or so, maybe getting a little more than 2,000 feet in altitude. Had a lot of good times. We gauged our food perfectly. We are tired, but happy to be getting on home and telling stories about this trip for a while. Hopefully you enjoyed this as well. We'll see you next time.